true one-of-a-kind machine, the 500 horsepower two-wheel drive honeybee tractor made by Greg and Glenn Honey of Honey Farms at Bracken, Saskatchewan back in 1978 it was on display at the 2015 Farm Progress Show in Regina with its air start, a V12 Cummins engine, a 13-speed Eaton transmission, earth mover tires. The tractor served as the main horsepower on the farm from 79 all the way to 1995. And Greg Honey took some time to chat about the machine with us. You know, originally we were farming down in the Bracken area and we, we needed a bigger tractor for the farm. We were farming with a 1370 case and a 1170 case and I had had some experience in the machinery building business from a previous job so we decided we'd take a run and build our own two-wheel drive tractor and this is what we came up with. A little bit bigger than what was normal yeah. at the time? Yeah, this is about in that 500 horsepower range and uh, so it was quite a bit bigger than what we were using. So, yeah. so it was you and your brother that, yes. that put yep. it all together? Yep. And yeah, we spent 19... The summer of 78, summer and fall of 78, rounded up components and then 1st of January we started building it and we had it running in March, took it apart, painted it and used it for seeding in April. So. And then you used it for, what was the seed, for 1995? Yeah, thereabouts, yeah, okay. yeah. And then we, we actually built a second one in 1980, so we had two of them, yeah. yeah. So did you think about going into it at a, at a mass level? We, I guess we discussed it a little bit, but there was lots of tractors on the, good tractors on the market back then with Versatile and that. But so then we got doing the swather thing and we got got busy with that because we built our first swather in 1980. So okay. that kind of redirected us, I guess, from the tractor things. So what was the motivation for building it? Well, we needed a bigger tractor at our own farming operation. and. I'd had experience in the machinery business from a previous job, so we thought we'd see what we could come up with. So, and yeah. save some. Yeah, we save. Yeah, we. I think we have about forty thousand dollars in this, so we did save some money. At and, the time. It was and, right. Yeah, yeah. So. so now it's basically a display. Yep. Display unit. So two years ago, we had stripped it completely down, right to the bare frame, blast, sandblasted everything, and then repainted it. And I thought I'd better bring it back to the show while it still looked good. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what kind of reaction or what kind of comments do you get from people who, uh, there have been lots of people stopping by to yeah. check out the track, what kind of comments do you get? Well, lots of people have stopped that, have, that saw it in 1979 actually, so yeah, I get lots of lots of comments, yeah. <laughs> How do you think it would stack up against uh, modern, modern tractors? Uh, probably not that bad actually. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. A little less. A little. <laughs> Quite a little. Yeah. But some farmers might appreciate that aspect of, yeah. of having it too. Yeah. Where, where's the second one? It's still on the farm. It needs the same treatment as this one actually. Okay. <laughs> so another project, yep. Are there plans to restore that one too? I would think so, yeah. Okay. Yep. So are they far. are they different? Yeah. Uh they're pretty well the same and the other one has a different engine in it. So okay. this has got a V twelve Cummins, the other one has a six cylinder cat in it. So was it difficult finding pieces that work together or no or? no not really no they're it's got a basically a truck transmission and a big planetary axle and, uh, that's one reason why we built it that way because it's very simple very simple like design simple than it would be articulated yeah. or yeah. four wheel drive so right. that you have yeah. that yeah. it's it's not the best if you get it in a mud hole it's not as good as a four wheel drive but for if you're driving it where you should be driving it, it works fine. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for telling us a bit about this, uh, this cool tractor here. You're welcome. Thank you.